Hey everyone, I just want to share with you a couple of journals that I've been working on these past few days. Um, really exciting and they're just really fun to do. Here's one. This was the one that I had showed that I had made a book and I used the grunge paper as my covers. This um, I titled My Love for Bird Cages. So the pages in here are going to be just of bird cages. And this one right here particularly, this is the one that I did for my swap and I made it as my front page and so I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I've done really fun to do um, I'm not finished with it, you know, I just you know, go and I stain the pages and then I just, you know, kind of work from there so I've been working on that um, you all seen this one already. Um, this one was the one that I bought from Michaels. I basically got the Distress It All. And as you can see, I distressed the whole book. And I love it. It's my new favorite tool. As you can see here. Um, it distressed even this really thick chipboard. Look how thick this is. This is probably like a heavyweight chipboard. And look. It just looks so pretty. And then this is the top side. So I just love the distress look. And then I just, you know, created my front page. Um, I started um, prepping some of my pages with the gesso here. So really fun to do. Um, I received a couple of emails on how I just start preparing for my junk journals. There are a few videos out there that show you on, you know, junk journaling. Um, what I do is, as you know, I don't throw nothing away. I have a particular bin that I add my favorite papers in these large Ziploc bags. Like, for example, this is Webster's. I save little pieces, like, even, like, as small as this, because I can cut the seahorse or the fish. Um, this one right here, another small piece. I can cut this leaf and incorporate it somehow into my journaling. So that's a nice thing about scraps. Those are perfect to incorporate in your journal books. Um, this one's Graphic 45. Let's see here. You know, I save you know pieces like this because I know. I can cut these ladies out and incorporate them in my journals. So don't ever throw anything away. Um, this one, Prima. See, I keep even this because I know I will use this in my journal. And my other favorite, Basic Gray. Um, you know, I save every little piece, even like this. I could use those butterflies. So I don't throw nothing away. I mean, unless it's like super, super tiny and there's no images on it, then I'll throw it away. Um, I have one for Kane Company, but somewhere in my room. So that's what I do with my scraps. And those are perfect for art journaling or junk journaling. Um, I also put my stuff in these bin, well in this bin right here that you can get at Michael's. Um, if I have little pieces like this left over, I just toss it in this bin. I don't like to store it back with my other um, packages that have not been used. It just starts to pile and um, and there's only a few pieces left so. And like for example like this, there's only one flower left, Camelot flower so. And I love to use the packaging. Don't throw these away. These are fun to incorporate in your journals. Um, you can even make these as pages if you wanted to. And that's another thing with junk journaling. There's no particular size. You can make your pages with pockets. You can make your pages with tags. You can make your pages with packaging. Um, here, as you can see, I normally would have put this back in the packaging because, you know, but I don't. If there's only one piece left, I just throw it in here. Um, oh, and I saved these too. Don't throw these away because I love these because Tim Holtz 
always puts the definition of his products on his packaging and these are fun to add to your um, journals and this, look how pretty this flourishes, you don't want to throw that away you easily cut that out and add that to a page and so that's what I do and you know like rub-ons there's only a couple pieces left and I just stick it in this box I mean there's no point of putting it back you know with my other stuff so that's one way um, I store it or, or I use my scraps um, for my journals so um, give it a try it's fun and here's some other items that I use I use let me just show you some of them. I use oil pastels. They're fun to work with. Uh, let me just grab a few. I use, you know, watercolor crayons. Uh, I use acrylic paint. I use my Glimmer Mist, my Starburst Stains, my Moon Shadow Mist. Anything pretty much that you can put in your journal. Uh, acrylic paints are fun. Uh, let's see here. You know, watercolor pencils. Um, Zeddy Betty Louise, she does an awesome video on the products that you can incorporate um, in your art journal or your junk journal. So be sure to check her out. I'll put her link down below. Um, but that's what I do um, to prepare. Um, nothing really particular. And I just do it here on my table. I use this board so I don't ruin the table. Um, as you can see, I got some right here. But that's acrylic paint, so it'll come off. No worries. But, yeah, and that's, you know, it's fun. It's addicting. It's great to do. And if you've done it before and you stopped, you know, do it again. And that's the nice thing about um, journaling. You know, you don't have to do it continuously. You can always go back at it. Um, it doesn't have to be completed right then and there like mini albums do. Um, I've made many albums where I've started, but I didn't finish it, and I do go back at it, but, and, you know, how many times do I really go back at it, you know, at least within a certain time frame, so at least with these journals, you can always go back at it and not feel like, oh my gosh, I didn't complete it, um, so that's what's nice about it, and so just give it a try. Like I said, it's fun, it's addicting, and it's great, and there's lots of videos out there um, of people that give such awesome inspiration. Um, it's a work of art. Uh, July, she's awesome. You guys got to check her out. And um, so um, have fun, do it, and just start creating. So thanks for watching. Bye.